Sheldon, if you were a robot and I knew and you didn't, would you want me to tell you? Welcome to Miss Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 craziest Big Bang Theory fan theories. Don't we all sort of build our own romantic cyborg? For this list, we'll be looking at the weirdest, most outrageous, and bizarre theories thought up by viewers of this nerdy sitcom. Do you think any of these theories have merit, or do they belong in an alternate universe? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. The Irony of the Big Bang Theory in hindsight, the titular Big Bang Theory, or anything about the universe's expansion, takes a back seat throughout the show's 12-year run. I don't need sleep. I need answers. I need to determine where in this swamp of unbalanced formulas squatteth the toad of truth. <laughs> Instead, we get the usual sitcom tropes as the characters experience the highs and lows of life and love. Of course, a fair portion of the dialogue is also dedicated to their many fandoms. How could you waste your lives with these stupid toys and costumes and comic books and, and now that? That! Again, time machines. <laughs> this led Reddit user NewLeaf37 to speculate that perhaps there's a deeper meaning to it all. Maybe the theme song serves as a tongue-in-cheek reminder that much of what we deem important is actually meaningless in light of the big picture. Okay, if you're gonna question the importance of an actor's signature on a plastic helmet from a movie based on a comic book, then all of our lives have no meaning. <laughs> or in their words, the gang become the cosmic joke. Number 9. Young Sheldon is Sheldon writing his autobiography. In The Big Bang Theory, Sheldon states that he intends to write his memoirs after winning a Nobel Prize. And of course, I can't mention you in my Nobel acceptance speech, but when I get around to writing my memoirs, you can expect a very effusive footnote and perhaps a signed copy. Well, as we know, he achieved that honor, and typically, he's pretty true to his word. Redditor R.I.P. Dandy Chiggins theorized that young Sheldon follows the Nobel laureate as he recounts his life story. From the wheel to the International Space Station, which I went to. Honestly, this again? Like, we don't hear about your Nobel Prize all the time. It's so detailed due to his eidetic memory. And as we know, Sheldon's not one to cut corners, which is why it's taken him years to tell it. I think you need to do some editing, like maybe cut out all that stuff about your childhood. Are you kidding? Growing up in the backwoods of East Texas is what makes me warm and relatable. Voice cameos from Mayim Bialik, who played Amy, and Simon Helberg, who played Howard, further support this idea. We can totally get behind this theory. It has merit. I wanted his name to be Leonard Nimoy Cooper, but Amy wouldn't let me. Be happy I let you name him Leonard. Okay, okay. Love you. Love you too. Number eight, Sheldon is Barney Stinson from an alternate dimension. When I get sad, I stop being sad and be awesome instead. True story. The two legend, wait for it, dairy characters are such polar opposites that, in a way, this makes sense. No bazinga here. Think about it. Sheldon's a quirky genius who's repulsed by intimacy and barely ever suits up. I never had any interest in being intimate with anyone. And now? And now what? <laughs> Meanwhile, Barney's a scheming womanizer who spends most evenings in a bar. We can totally see how these two could be two versions of the same guy in parallel realities. Funnily enough, Jim Parsons auditioned for both roles and even supports this theory. I mean, maybe I'm giving that vibe off. Maybe underneath this character I've been playing is a r r raging horn dog. But we wonder what he'd make of the idea that Caleb from iCarly is actually Sheldon from the future. Reddit user Niblick42 suggested that working on time travel took a significant toll on his mental health. And in the year 2041, the entire state of California... Kerplunk. <laughs> into the ocean. Number seven, Sheldon and Cooper from Interstellar are related. Besides sharing a last name, Interstellar's Cooper also exhibits exceptionally high intelligence. There's not a planet in our solar system that could sustain life in the near stars over a thousand years away, I and mean, that doesn't even qualify as futile. Additionally, we never meet his dad, so who's to say it isn't Big Bang Theory's Sheldon? 
However, considering Interstellar takes place in 2067, we'd be more inclined to guess that Sheldon could be Cooper's grandfather. Gravity can cross the dimensions, including time. The theory also suggests that this explains why Murph has such a strong knack for physics. It's in her DNA. But as crazy as it all sounds, it's not entirely implausible. Sheldon always dreamed of going into space, so in a way, Cooper kind of fulfilling that dream is actually rather sweet. Yeah, or if they accept Daddy's application to live on Mars. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, there's this company that's attempting to establish a colony on Mars. Number six, there never was a Mrs. Wolowitz. We know. We also can't fathom a world where Howard's mum never existed, but just hear Reddit user pick234 out. Well, who's calling at this ungodly hour? I don't know. Well, ask them why they're calling at this ungodly hour. How can I ask them when I'm talking to you? <laughs> They hypothesized that much like Norman Bates from Psycho, Mrs. Wolowitz only existed in Howard's mind. The engineer does have a talent for voices and impressions, so it isn't entirely unreasonable. Ghost Raj will help guide you through the forest. <laughs> well, I'm just a tree, but if I were you, I'd listen to your ghost friend! Pick 234 suggests that he impersonated this mother figure to deal with his loneliness, and his friends, who knew about it, were willing to play along. If you recall, in the Season 7 episode The Cooper Extraction, Howard does share a fantasy inspired by the Hitchcock classic. So, even if the theory isn't true, Howard's definitely thought about it at some point. Here you go, Mother. You're a good boy, Howard! Such a good boy! <laughs> Number 5. Professor Proton built an android called Sheldon. Throughout the series, the gang has made countless jokes about Sheldon's robot like traits. It's actually a computer program pretending to be a real person. And you're afraid it'll do a better job than you? <laughs> Excuse me, no one does a better job pretending to be a person than I do. <laughs> He's overly pragmatic, can't read human emotions, and is nothing like the rest of his family. Well, what if, in a bid to regain acceptance from the science community, Professor Proton built a very realistic android and named it Sheldon? Well, there, there really isn't too much to tell. After the TV show was, was cancelled, no, nobody in the scientific world would, uh, would take me seriously. We can definitely believe that Sheldon isn't human, and this would explain his attachment to his creator. Father. <laughs> sure, what the hell. But then, why didn't we meet the Professor until Season 6? And how did Shellbot end up with the Coopers? Also, how does a robot grow up? Still, Ian Armitage approves of the theory, which is good enough for us. What makes a robot to me is if you have the robot voice, then you're a robot. So Sheldon sort of has the robot voice now. But I guess I sort of do agree with that one. Number four, Bernadette is a cyborg. Remember that episode where Howard builds a robot arm and, well... You slipped and fell into a robot hand. <laughs> yes. What if that was just the start of a bigger project? Not only does Bernadette share some of Mrs. Wolowitz's characteristics, but no offence to Howard, she's way out of his league. I just told him that! <laughs> I don't need any butter. If you want butter, I'll get you butter. We could easily believe that Wolowitz was so unlucky in love that he built his ideal woman, but didn't Penny introduce them? And can cyborgs reproduce? Reddit user ConspireOC has an alternate theory that Bernadette is actually a series of clones, and maybe her employers release a new one as a cover-up every time she has a workplace accident. I know I can be tough, but that's just because I'm surrounded by useless idiots. <laughs> it would explain why she changes so vastly throughout the series. Number 3. Secret Agent Penny how does a struggling actress on minimum wage afford to live alone in a nice apartment in Pasadena? Guess I'm your new neighbor, Penny. Oh, Leonard, Sheldon. Hi. 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 Uh, <laughs> well, uh, 
Oh, welcome to the building. Redditor, number theory, believes it's because she's a spy. They propose that she was sent to keep an eye on Leonard and Sheldon after the events shown in the staircase implementation. Not only did Sheldon save my life, he didn't rat me out to the landlord, or the police, or Homeland Security. <laughs> It would explain a lot, from her disappearing friendship group to her fruitless career trajectory, and that she's way more tech-savvy than she lets on. No, Fritz, I need you on my flank. No, I don't know German. Flankensy, flankensy! Hey, Penny. Busy. <laughs> Another fan theorized that she's under witness protection, which would address the mystery surrounding her maiden name. Meanwhile, C. Wade 03 thinks that maybe Caltech pays Leonard to monitor Sheldon, Howard, and Raj for various reasons. Is he okay? Yeah, all right, I'll be right there. What happened? Sheldon's escaped and is terrorizing the village. <laughs> Number two, it's all in Sheldon's head. As we've already mentioned, some fans believe that Caleb from iCarly is Sheldon Cooper. Redditor The Theory Guys takes things a step further, suggesting that Sheldon was locked up after offing his dad and his mistress. I heard a sound coming from my parents' bedroom. When I opened the door, I saw my father having relations with another woman. Oh, that's awful. There, he met Leonard, who'd been lobotomized for sharing government secrets, and Penny, whose failed acting career drove her to substance use disorder. Meanwhile, Raj is a doctor at the facility, while Howard is the caretaker. Sheldon turned them all into characters in a story that plays out in his mind. Look at Plank's constant. People say that's arbitrary. That could not be less arbitrary. If it varied even slightly, life as we know it would not exist. Bam! <laughs> Alternatively, you might prefer this cheerier theory that argues that the Big Bang Theory is the autobiographical screenplay Penny tells the guys about way back in the pilot. It's about this sensitive girl who comes to LA from Lincoln, Nebraska to be an actress and winds up a waitress at the Cheesecake Factory. So it's based on your life. No, I'm from Omaha. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Four Nerds of the Apocalypse According to this fan theory, Leonard, Sheldon, Raj, and Howard, the Teslas and Einsteins of their generation, will be responsible for the world ending. You like to think that you're just like Tesla, but the truth is, you're exactly like Edison. You take that back. No? He's right? They're too distracted by their hobbies and love lives to put their higher-than-average intelligence to effective use, and by not flexing the full potential of their intellect, they will inadvertently cause Armageddon. We have 48 hours, there are no distractions, let's change the world. Thinking caps on! Here we go! Oh, this is exciting, we're innovating, I feel like we're in the Facebook movie. It also doesn't help that they're prone to reckless behaviours. This is further supported by the theme song, which sweeps through the universe's timeline and ends on the core characters. They might want to reconsider those lyrics. Although, that all ended with a big crunch doesn't really have the same ring, does it? Neanderthals developed tools, we built a wall. We built the pyramids, math, science, history, unraveling the mystery that all started with a big bang. Hey! Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.